What's up, YouTube? Um, it's going to be a weekly haul. This is the newest stuff I've gotten. Um, hopefully, I'm caught up now in videos. I know I put a, you know, a hand a, a few of them out in the last few days. Um, just trying to get caught up. Uh, I do have a few more things I want to show later on. Uh, I still have a box of magazines. I got magazine comics. I got uh, um, horror and stuff like that from the 70s and early 80s. Uh, I also have a bunch of Star Wars action figures. I still haven't shown them yet. I've had them for a while. But uh, yeah, so let's just get started on the new stuff I got this week. Um, so let me tell you what I got. That was some original artwork. First, I want to say that I made this video last night. And after I made the video, I went to uh, stop the video. And it looked like it, it had already stopped like halfway through the video when I was recording. And I kept going. I didn't realize that it stopped. So I actually have to remake everything. I did an unboxing um, that was, was very unfortunate. Because I did an unboxing of a Walking Dead survival box. This was brand new. I'm still in the wrapper. I did all the individual boxes inside. If you guys don't know what these are, um, this cost me 80 bucks, but I think they're like a little over $100 online. But there's four boxes in, in here, and in each box there's five cards, one of which is either a signature, you know, autograph, costume pieces, and there's some other things. But I already unboxed it, thinking I had the video. So I already have the cards here, and I'll show what I got. Um, Actually, you know what? Let me show them now because I just get that out of the way. Uh, I got some pretty cool things in here, actually. But let me just go through the the uh, um, regular cards, and then I'll show you the good stuff at the end. Um, so these are just what they look like. They're pretty thick cards. They're like die cut kind of thing. You know, so it's pretty cool. This is a uh, Dale Zombeth um, getting chewed up. Beth. So, this is Dawn Lerner. It's that cop that was a bitch, I believe, if I remember from the episode. I think it's a survival guy tip. Survival guy tip. SGR. Be ruthless, is the governor. Um, Carol. Um, Caleb. I don't know who that is, actually. I'm, I think, a couple seasons behind. Jesus, um, another survival tip, tip, don't be a hero, um, so this is Glenn and Maggie, I actually got two of those in two different boxes, and then this is Sasha, and then a different Sasha. This one lots are different. And I got a Anit. I don't know who that is actually. Um, and then the Governor versus Merle Dixon. And these are the uh, the rarer stuff I got. You know, they come one in a box. Um, don't know how. I have to look these up to see what these are going for online. These individual cards. Don't know who this person is. This is Sam Anderson, Major Dixon. I don't know if that's from who that is. Maybe it's that's not the Carol's kid in the beginning. I can't remember, but it's signed by him. He has a pretty good signature, Major, for a kid. Don't know, but I got that signature. And this is Lawrence Gilliard Jr. It's Bob Stucky. Looks familiar. I can't think of who it is, but. Pretty cool signature cards though. And then this is actually a costume piece. This is Noah. I remember this guy. Um, Taylor James thing. So it's a shirt relic. So it's a piece of a shirt he wore in the show. And then this is the cool one, I think. You know, if you're gonna get something, this is something you wanna get from. This is Daryl Dixon, piece of a shirt he wore in the show. So shirt relic card. Pretty cool though. Um, so I got them. I don't know that they're eighty dollars. Cool. I'll have to see what they actually go for. But now, if you guys watched my last video, you'll know that 
I got some major keys for really cheap prices. Um, and uh, so I went back the next day because there was a couple other things that they had already had one priced up on the wall and they wanted some money for it and try to get them down. They weren't willing to do it, but I went in the next day just to, just to see what else I missed maybe. And, um, oh, they had another, oh, that's right. That's, that's why I went in. Um, when I was there the first day buying the blade, first blade, the uh, first Rasha Ghoul, and what else I get? Uh, first blade, first Rasha Ghoul. I can't remember now. I got so many good books that guess. Um, the other, that, that first day, um, but I went. Um, they had a uh, first appearance um, that they had in a press that they told me they were letting me check out when they got it out of the press. So I went back the next day to look at it, and ended up picking up a few books. And one is a major key, but they're all they got three first appearances. Two of them are, I guess, major keys, but the one's really big. So let me show you the the, the new stuff I got. So this is Hack Slash Resurrection number eight. Um, pretty cool cover there. Love that cover actually. And here goes the regular one. I think that's a Sealy cover. We got Outcast 36. And here goes the wife. She's gonna try coming in here. Realm number seven. Pestilence Story of Satan number two. I don't know if there was a variant cover. They didn't have it. I also would have gotten it. Then you got Malefic number eight. Um, this is one of the series I want to get caught up on actually. Then I got the new Thor number two. This is the um, one of the variant covers. Um, looks like I think the, this is from the, the guy from I believe this is the guy from God of Thunder. I think his name was like God Bomb. But God of Thunder was like my favorite series um, for Thor, my favorite. Um, and this is actually the the first beginning of it. it was my favorite part of it with him. Then I got this one, just because it's a cool cover. I heard they're going to be connecting covers. Prelude to a Wedding. And I got the regular Thor cover. And then got the variant. This is like $7.99, minus my 20%, whatever. It was 1 in 20 or something. No, I just showed that one. And here goes the Jenny Frizzing cover for Wonder Woman. I don't even know what issue this is. 49. That's pretty quick to get to 49. It went quickly. Uh, I guess because they put it out like every other week or something. Um, then they got Legendary Red Sonya number 5. That's the only cover I guess they got. Then I had to get this one, of course. This is Vampirella Roses for the Dead. Linzer and his wife are working on the interiors and he did the cover for this one so I guess she's writing it and he did the um, artwork inside also and then the other cover is the Billy Tucci cover uh, which is pretty cool I actually like this one and then this is like a 1 in 20 or something now um, these are not too many more just a few books left uh, Red Sonia number 17 This one, cosplay. Um, this one. Here goes the black and white. And I got these all for cover price, so um, I said I was going to stop buying them if uh, they hadn't, if they were going to keep charging these crazy prices for them. And then for the last Red Sonia. Um, Usually when they do a virgin cover, there's a regular cover. They do the virgin cover up, but they didn't have a regular cover. At least my store didn't. But I got this virgin cover, and it is awesome. This is the Red Sonia one. Um, this is probably one of the nicest ones I think they've done. Um, it's awesome looking, but there was no regular cover. I'm going to have to check to see if I missed it or something like that. I mean, my local didn't get it, but got the... I can't see them not getting it because they grab all of them from me right away and before they put them out. But who knows? And this is Harrow County 32. And this is an awesome cover. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like this is uh, where the wild things are. Like an homage or something like that to that. Um, but it's awesome. Love that cover. Now before I show you the, the other books, um, I'm going to show you one more thing I got. Um, if you guys remember a while ago, I got a Batman. This is a well, I'll show it. 
This is a Batman 112. This is Ascending Knight. I got the previews exclusive for that, which they told me I ordered both of them. I don't remember ordering either of them because I usually don't buy Batman figures and stuff. I think I bought, you know, a Batman himself. I think I got one Batman black and white statue, and that's because of whoever the artist was. I can't remember Terry Dotson or something like that. You know, maybe it's, I can't remember who it was, but I'm not going to open it. Um, so that's what it is. I, I don't remember, but I, as far as this $80 and I got it for 20% off, eight, eight, whatever that is, 50, is 60, 66 bucks or something like that. So yeah, so that's going into a storage unit anyway, until I can sell some stuff, um, which I am going to be doing soon. Um, I know I say all the time guys, but, um, I'm going to have a break from school in a few weeks. Um, and I'm going to be, uh, putting some stuff together. I'm going to start with, I think online and stuff I'm going to sell, um, some of my graded signature books and stuff like that, um, that I just don't want, um, no big deal. They're not anything significant, just books. I, when I was first started collecting and getting books graded, I was having signed some variants of modern variants and stuff like that. Um, I got way, way too many graded books right now. Um, and I want to kind of focus on, I got way too many books, um, but I want to kind of focus on uh, um, key books, Silver Age, Bronze Age, things like that, and really condense my collection. Um, I think this summer I might even, uh, I think I'm going to try to sell a bunch of boxes like in a big lot to someone, like a dealer or something like that, that that'll give me a lot better price than the one my LCS would give me. Um, I think, I think Evan had told me he had sold a bunch of boxes to someone that might be able to give me a, a pretty good deal. Um, and I got a lot of boxes. I got 18,000 books, maybe something around there. When I'm, this is, I'm just guessing. I know it's up there. Um, that I have to get rid of, uh, I just don't have space anymore. I'm going to get rid of a lot of action figures. I have a whole box of like Barbies, uh, of course, action figure, I mean, uh, superhero Barbies, but um, action figures, things like that in the storage unit. I just want to get rid of them. I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff back here. Some of these statues. I'm probably going to get rid of the Avengers collection. I know these go for quite a bit of money. Like the Captain, I think sells for like five, six hundred dollars. Whatever. But we'll deal, I'll deal with that when I get to them later. Um, the comics got to go. Um, a lot of stuff. So, um, be on the lookout for that. I am, most of the stuff I'm going to sell just to a dealer, but, uh, the graded books I'll probably make a video and I'll post it or and I'll probably also see if I can post it to one of the Facebook pages or something someone will let me post a link um, and you know we'll, we'll see but uh, yeah guys so let's get to the comics the major comics and or the comics and then the rest of the comics and then I'll do the art pages uh, I went to New Hampshire last week uh, I was camping with some friends and uh, I went to a bookstore like a used bookstore in the town Bethlehem, New Hampshire. Um, it was up in the White Mountains. And they actually had comics. They were two bucks a piece. And most of it was just dollar books, 50 cent books, modern stuff. But I found these in there. So it was kind of cool. X-Men 89. Fairly nice copy. Not bad for two bucks, I think. And also a 72. I don't know, these have to be at least ten dollars, I would think, a piece. I don't have them, I believe, also. So then my local, um, this is actually from that collection. I got it yesterday when I went in to uh, pick up uh, new, ones, new new comic book day stuff. Um, and they had this up on the wall, and I realized that I didn't have, this is the last one I needed to collect to complete my Marvel Spotlight Ghost Rider run. Um, so it was, uh, it was like uh, nine bucks or something like that to my discount. Uh, Marvel Spotlight number 10, and now I got the complete run of Ghost Rider from number 5, his first appearance, up to 11 or 12, something like that. So pretty cool. I think I just need a one or two um, to complete, like, the first so many of them. Like, I think I need one or, I can't remember, just, just like, in the, in the single digits, just, I think maybe four, and then three. I got, I got, number, I got a bunch of number twos, which right here <laughs> uh, I got this for 30 bucks I have probably four or five of these now um, 
with 30 bucks I'll take it. I try to get it for 25, but um, not too bad though. That's not great. It's Neil Adams cover, first appearance of Werewolf by Night. We'll fade it up there, but 30 bucks I'll take it. This is the book they had in the press. Um, I got it because it was only 60 bucks. Um, might not be a great deal, but first uh, Jonah Hex. Um, you can see the staple pulls. That's what not, makes it not that great. But 60 bucks, uh, I pay $60 for one that's a lot worse condition than this, so. Not bad. I had a nicer copy too, but I think this this is my third copy. Now the big book, the one I paid the most money for. Let me get these out of the way real quick. Um, now they want 500 for this. I tried to get it for 450. They told me no. They just got it. And I know they would have sold it sooner or later, and they knew that too, for 500. And uh, I just tried to get fifty dollars down. They wouldn't do it. They said if we still have it in a few weeks, maybe. Um, but I ended up getting a full um, rewards card, which is forty dollars for me. Like every sixty dollars you spend, I get a sticker. You get ten of them. Basically, spend six hundred bucks, you get a forty dollars off. So I got it for four sixty. My third copy of uh, Iron Man Fifty Five, first appearance of. Uh, to some minor characters like um, Blood Brothers, Drax, and someone named Thanos. Um, just a minor character, but um, yeah. So third appearance of that of uh, I'm a third copy of uh, uh, Iron Man, and I think someone else signed it too. I can't remember who else worked on a new shooter or not shooter Starling um, worked on it. It wasn't him, so I haven't I haven't met him. So, so this is what I got. Artwork-wise, I paid every single one of these was twenty dollars, except for two of them. I can't I don't know which ones these were. One was nineteen fifty, and one was twenty fifty. So I paid twenty dollars a piece for these. And these are all um, these here are Johnny Christmas artist um, sheltered. Uh, I don't know what page that is. There's no number on it. But I'm assuming it is number page four of number six of Shelter. Because that's goes in line. Oh wait, no, never mind. There's a number on the back, that's right. This is Shelter number five, page 21. So I believe I have some more of these pages. In this issue, I mean, I know I have more pages of this. So that's pretty cool. One. These are this is number six, page three. Number six, page two. If you guys haven't read this story, I just I think it would make a great TV show or movie. And this is number one, number six. Now, oh, we got one more. Oh, this is number five. Number five, page 17. That's a pretty good one. You got a pretty cool one. That's okay. Now these are the big ones for me. Because I love this artist. I mean, this, I love this series. I've read every single one. Um, this is another one I think will make a great movie or TV show. Um, it's like a movie, but... Uh, it's Peter Panzerfaust. So you guys know I've got a whole portfolio full of these pages. Um, got the cover. Actually, um, all these pages are from issue number 14, which I actually have the cover of. Um, I'll show it to you. Okay. So we can start off with what the cover looks like. Let me see. It's in here. Oop. Oop, no. Let me see. It might be in the other book. I have so many of these pages now. A bunch of John's sheltered in here, too. Yeah, we've got any other one. Okay. Hmm. That's not right. Yeah, 
Okay. Oh, I gotta put all these together, all the Panzerfaust ones. Oh. There goes the cover for number 14. So. Pretty cool. So that's the cover. Oh, there's my Dave Sim service page. Let's see what else we got here. Vampirella page. Mike Mayhew. Jenny Frizzing cover. I don't think it was ever published though. Witchblade cover. Tim Seeley. Mm, pretty cool though. Uh, and now on to the pages I just got. Mission number 14. Starts at page 10. Nothing really dramatic or anything. Page 10. Page 11. But they are inked and everything and shaded. Like Tyler, Tyler uh, Jenkins does. He does the shading, gray tone kind of stuff. Um, and then this is number 12. Page 12, I mean. Page 12. Page 13. I actually like this one. I like the headlights. I think it's kind of cool. Um, 14. Fifteen. So I'm getting a cigarette flicked at him. And then this is number sixteen. Um, so get on to the head. So that's everything, guys. Um, I'll just let you know. I don't really have much more coming right now, but I don't have any, I'm not buying anything anytime soon. Um, I think I'm going to get, I'm going to be going to some cons soon. Oh, wait. There's a con this weekend. I think it's Trificon or Foxwoods. Oh, I'm going to have to figure something out for Saturday. Okay. Um, yeah, I just realized that Blunt's going to be there and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so that's about all I have coming. I'm um, just gonna get some books graded and a couple signatures. Um, Boston Con is the big one in August. I already have my three days uh, pass for that. Um, but yeah, guys, um, look out for the video. It's gonna be within the next few weeks, probably. It's gonna be at least two weeks till I do anything. Um, uh, and I'll, I'll show a video of uh, graded books I'm willing to sell, so. We'll start off with them, get, get rid of uh, some of that stuff. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.